it going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under and today we are seeing a very big character building game for Kai Soto. Now you guys might be noticing something completely and utterly different. That is right, I got a brand new spanking new camera, brand new microphone so the sound quality should be going through the roof right now and I'm not going to lie, I'm still trying to figure out the camera and this is not even nearly as good as it's going to get. I'm going to get more and more beautiful as the videos go on. I'm trying to figure out the settings and it will happen guys but the setup is going to go bougie. It's B December and I cannot lie, I already had a video out for you guys but I then realised that Kai Soto was playing today and of course I had to cover that so I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm in a little bit of a time rush to get this video out there for I'm not going to muck around with the settings just yet on the camera. We've hit 16k subs and I can't even change that just yet. But we need to talk about the task at hand. CJ Bruton, what are you doing to our boy Kai Soto? In an unbelievable Adelaide 36ers win, they came back from a 20 point deficit and beat the Cairns Taipans. I told you this would be the toughest game for Kai this season so far and it certainly was. And not just for him, but for the whole Adelaide 36ers lineup. Unfortunately, Kai's stats for today's game are very, very simple. In 7 minutes and 1 one second of action where we saw him come on just to be a distraction at the end of the game. He had one field goal attempt, no other stats. Now, of course, I was watching the game, and that's not to say he didn't impact the game at all, because he certainly did. Now, the most notable moment to me was a two-on-one with Antonius Cleveland and Kai Soto sitting under the ring, waiting for a lob pass in the perfect position, and the pass was just completely over his head, and it was an absolute joke. Like, he's seven foot three. How can you not make that pass? But we spoke about in the game that Kai's going to be the biggest guy on the court for this Cairns matchup, and he was, and he showed his presence, and he was hindering shots where they still hit a couple over him, just some very, very good shots. But also the fact that he was able to clog up the key while he was on the court, and he was a presence in the offense. Now, we asked a few things of Kai, and he delivered. On a side note, he didn't have very many highlights in today's game, but the fact that he was calling and demanding for the ball is exactly what I see. Lifting that aggression to become a more dominant player and force. When your teammates respect you, they're going to pass you the ball, and get you in more positions to score. They certainly were looking for him today on the court. Unfortunately, they just weren't doing anything about it. They look for Kai, he's in the right position, but they weren't giving it to him. His teammates really need to lift in that situation. Especially the Adelaide 36ers were down around 20 points at one stage. Feed our man Kai, he's a presence, he's a big momentum shifter. You get him going, the whole team's gonna get going. And of course, the biggest issue with his limited minutes and limited options on the court, his confidence. Unfortunately, his confidence is just gonna keep going slightly down until he gets more of a run because if you're not getting a run you don't get a chance to put your skills on full display because you're constantly worried am I getting subbed off here am I getting subbed off there and at the same time you read the title right this is a very big character building game the Adelaide 36ers looked very broken in that first half they were not passing the ball it was a one shot offense no one was moving no one was cutting and everyone had no energy beat our boy Kai Get him going, I promise you, the rest of the team will get going too. But this was a very big character building game for Kai and you might be thinking, why? Well, he only played seven minutes of action in a very tough game and his coach was very tough on him. When you're put in tough situations, you're forced to perform and learn from those situations. Therefore, today's game might not have been his best game stat or highlight wise, but this will be a very big learning curve for him. He's learning how to deal with playing that limited minutes and when you're able to play in limited minutes, you're gonna start getting more minutes. Sounds so silly but in fact that's the truth. So the quicker that Kai learns to deal with this tough rotation setup, the quicker that we'll see him get some more and more minutes. Overall from the opportunity that was actually given today, he did a very very good job. It's just a shame that his teammates aren't finding him enough and CJ Bruton's got to run him in the offense more. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Share this with your friends and I'll catch us later. BD Semba is just heating up. New camera's just here. Wait till we figure out how to use it.